Hey guys, Yankee here, and today I'm going to be doing a video talking about uh, Pokemon Legends ZA, or Z-A, or Z-2A. Um, I assume it's just Pokemon Legends ZA. This is kind of a follow-up video to my Pokemon Let's Go 2 video I released just a couple weeks ago, where I basically just talked about how I wanted another Legends game, but at the start of that video, I kind of went down the list of why I didn't think certain things were going to get announced. And in that video, I said, like, I'm pretty sure I even, like, really highlighted this bit where I'm like, I don't know how anyone can think we're getting a new Legends game. Pokemon games are usually made in a three-year cycle. It's way too early for Legends right now. November will be less than three years. They're not going to be able to pump out a new Legends game in time for the holiday. So I was half right and half wrong in that video. I was right in... It's not coming out in November, it's coming out next year sometime, 2025. I was wrong that they wouldn't announce it at all. Um, and I think that's sort of the biggest surprise from this Pokemon Presents, is that there's just no game for this holiday, which... <clears throat> uh, it's a mixed bag. I think a lot of people are going to be happy that Game Freak's taking more time with their games. They don't have to constantly be pumping things out. Uh, but also... Uh, one of the spin-offs could have been put here. That would have been nice. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm just going to talk about Pokemon Legends ZA. Uh, I guess before I talk about that, I'll briefly mention Legends Arceus. I don't remember if I talked about it in my Let's Go video about what I thought of that game. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was kind of bare bones. Also, my throat's kind of messed up, and I keep clearing my throat right into the microphone. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, Legends Arceus. It was kind of barren, like, at, the, at its core I thought it was a cool idea, and I played all of the main story, but by the time I got to, uh, like, beating Dialga, or Palkia, or whatever, whatever one you fight, because I think it's an option, I don't remember which one I, I picked, uh, I was kind of done with it, and so I never actually got to Arceus, or finished the game, like, I know stuff that happens after that, like, I know the Volo fight. Uh, but I never got there. I kind of... I had my fun with it, but uh, wasn't enjoying it well enough to continue. Um, the way the Pokedex worked was a little bit too... Like, too much for me, and also just, like, not a lot of variety when it came to, like... In Pokemon games, you have, you know, wild battles, which is trying to capture them a lot of the time, and when you're not capturing them, you're probably just running away. And then trainer battles, where it's, like, multiple Pokemon coming out at once, and the balance in Legends Arceus just felt off to me, like, catching was way up, but there wasn't any actual trainer battles to sort of offset that, so, I don't know, it just didn't feel, like, it felt like a lot of doing the same thing, and not, like, not much variety for me, um, so I kind of got bored with it, and finished the game, the main story, and then just sort of moved on, um, but there was some cool stuff in there that I'm interested to see how they expand upon. And one of the things from the Pokemon Legends ZA trailer that really got my attention is the talk of... Alright, we're... what was it? Urban Redevelopment Project. So, I love Digimon World. The very first Digimon World game on PS1. One of my favorite parts of that game is... As you record... as you record... as you recruit Digimon, they come to the city and then they open up shops, or, like, they, they add to it, and the city builds and changes. And there was a little bit of this in Legends Arceus, and I love this, where, like, uh, I, I think it only happened the one time where the town actually expanded a bit. It was after, I think, the story moment where uh, not Professor Rowan, like, is at the dock, and, like, a bunch of people are getting off the ship and coming to town. Um, but, like, the town expands a little bit, and you're like, People will ask you to bring them a Pokemon, so you bring them a Pokemon, and then you'll see that Pokemon just in town. I really like that, and if this game is building on that and expanding on it, that would be right up my alley. Um, I don't need, like, a full city building game or a city planning game, though some elements of that could be cool. Like, um, what is it? Lumio City. Lumio City is huge, um, and in the map they showed, it's actually quite big. So, I'm hoping, like, it doesn't have to be, like, that full map we have access to, but, like, if it's big enough, like, maybe just having a few spots where we can pick and choose where things can go. So, like, 
like a store. Let's say somebody comes to the town. They're like, we want to open up a clothing store. Okay, cool. Here are like 10 spots you can pick from to put this clothing store. And you can put it where you want. And so everybody that plays the game, it's going to be a little bit different. Because how they plan the city, even if it's very limited to... All right, there's 10 things you can place around the city total, and there's 10 spots you can put them all total, but you get to pick and choose where they go. I think that could be really cool and can help make the game feel more personal to people playing. So I think that could be really neat. Um, again, one of the lines in the trailer is like, uh, I forget exactly what it was, but it's like bringing people and Pokemon closer together. So I assume we're going to get more quests like we did in Legends Arceus where somebody wants a Pokemon, you give them a Pokemon, and like, you'll see it like evolve as the story goes on, like the Wurmple guy, or I think there was a lady that asked for a Geodude and it evolved into Graveler, right? Things like that. I think if this game puts a focus on that, I think that's going to be really cool. And I think it would be really neat if right away Legends establishes that it doesn't have a set formula like regular Pokemon games do. Like Pokemon games, it's get the gym badges, fight the Elite Four, evil team, you fight, yada yada. If we go from... Legends Arceus, which is basically just filling out the Pokedex and doing a few bosses here and there and, like, drastically swerve to having, like, a either tone down the Pokedex stuff or almost throw it out completely and instead focus on the town building thing and just right away set up that there's not just a formula that we're going to follow every time. Like, there might be elements of that. So, like, the boss fights can come back. But we're going to have drastically different... Uh, goals in each game I think that would be really cool and I think it would help keep Legends games more fresh from title to title um, so yeah city building stuff cool uh, Zygarde okay Pokemon Legends Z X was what Xerneas Y Yvalto Z never came out um, I guess I'll mention this too X and Y are where I sort of dropped Pokemon for a while I did not like X and Y um I liked the things in it, but overall I was sort of falling out of love with Pokemon, and then I didn't come back until Let's Go. And then I backtracked and played Sun and Moon, but I didn't like X and Y, but I liked some of the Pokemon in it, and I'm not opposed to, like, Paris in Pokemon or whatever. So I'm not as gung-ho about Zygarde as some people are. I didn't care that there was no Pokemon Z. I was out of Pokemon for a long time. Um, but Zygarde's a neat-looking Pokemon, and I think you can do some interesting things with him. My one thing that I hope is that, unlike Legends Arceus, where Arceus was so far in the background, you, he appears like two times, um, bring Zygarde to the forefront a bit more. Um, I know in, what was it, Sun and Moon, you go around and you collect little pieces of Arceus. Um, have that be, like, a objective from the start. Like, the Spirit Tomb Wisps that you get in Legends Arceus. Just make it the little Zygarde pieces that you're going around and collecting. Something like that, right? Uh, and then I also had the idea of uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet kind of change things up right away by, like, all right, here's the legendary Pokemon on the cover of the box. He's with you the whole game cool. I liked that. I liked uh, Maridon a lot more than the other legendary Pokemon because of that. You could do something like that with Zygarde, where you make him the ride Pokemon, because he's got all these different forms, right? Like, what is it? 10%, 50%, 100%? So, what is it? 10% is the dog, right? Well, you just add more forms in between, and you can have them, like, unlock different ride abilities as you go. So, like, 10% is the dog, and you can ride it, like, you could wordier in uh, Legends Arceus. And then add, like, a gliding form. And, like, all these interesting things. You could do that. Though, personally, I would prefer riding Pokemon to be your own Pokemon. Um, but for some reason, uh, Pokemon seems to be uninterested in doing that. So, if we're going to have ride Pokemon in this, I think having it be Zygarde and making Zygarde a more important part of the game instead of just being in the background doing nothing for the entire thing uh, could be cool and final thing I want to talk about or final two things I guess um, 
starters. Uh, this was one of the cool things about Legends Arceus for me was the new starters. Or not new starters, but like new forms for the starters. So I don't really have any guesses. Um, I don't... Since Megas are coming back, and I'll talk about Megas briefly in a second, um, I don't think they'll do any Pokemon that have Megas. Because I don't know if they're going to even address how Mega Evolution works for regional variants. So like Slowpoke and Slowking, they have Galarian forms. Or only, was it, Slowbro has a Mega, right? They don't have to address it if they don't have Galarian Slowbro in the game. So if you put Charmander and stuff in this game, I don't think they're going to make Kanto or Hoenn starters the starters and give them regional forms if they're going to have Megas, because I don't think they're going to address that. I think they're just going to ignore it. So I don't see any of the, again, Kanto or Hoenn starters being in there. Um, one of the Sinnoh ones could be cool, like, uh, what is it, Piplup's, like, named after M uh, Napoleon, so, like, having Empoleon get one could be neat. Um, and I think I saw somewhere that there's another Pokemon that's loosely based on something French-related on their starter. I don't remember which one, and that could be just me misremembering, but, like, that could be neat. Um, I think they'll probably do, like, another more recent one, so either a Gen 8 starter or maybe a Gen 9 one. I think it might be too early for that, though, because um, that was neat in Legends Arceus where it's like, all right, here's Rowlet, and we're giving him a new form. Um, so I thought, was, thought that was cool. Uh, again, starters in Legends Arceus were neat. I liked getting the new forms, um, and I'm excited to see who they pick for this one. Um, and then finally, Mega Evolutions. So many people like Mega Evolutions and have been asking for Mega Evolutions. I I think Mega Evolutions are kind of cool. Um, I remember when I played X and Y, I really didn't like a lot of the Pokemon, the new ones. Um, so the team that I had by the end was basically just as many Megas as I could fit on the team. Um, so, like, Pokemon that I had never used before that were old, like Gardevoir. I had a Gardevoir on my team just to use Mega Gardevoir. Um... I used Charizard again in that game. Like, I used the Kanto starter they give you just because it was... Like, I wanted to use as many of the Mega Evolutions as I could. So, bringing them back is a... You have to, right? If you're doing Kalos. Um, but I'm hoping we get some new ones. Um, I don't think they would make a big deal out of it coming back if we weren't going to get at least some new ones. And I think... For me, the most interesting thing would be... Uh, new Pokemon getting some Megas, right? Get some, like, Gen 8 or Gen 9 or Gen 7 Pokemon and give them some Megas. Like, I know there's a lot... I think a lot of people are going to ask for, like... I think a lot of people are going to see uh, this as, like, all right, we're back to Gen 6, and so, like, all these old Gen Pokemon or all these Gen 6 Pokemon should get Megas. And I do think some Gen 6 Pokemon should. Um, but I think it'd be cool to get, like, a good mix of, like, a couple old ones, a couple of... Uh, ones from Kalos, and then a couple of more recent ones. Uh, like, Mega Evolutions are just fun for me, so I'm excited to see what they do. I'm, I'm interested to see how many they do, because I think there was an interview at some point where they basically complained about, like, uh, it was hard to come up with ideas for them. Like, oh, we don't know what to do for every Mega Evolution, and, or we just, we don't want to set the expectation that we're going to get, you know, 15, 20 every game. Um, so now that they're revisiting it, I'll be interested to see how they approach it. Because I know some things have changed at Game Freak. Like, um, Masuda has stepped down and Omori has become, like, the main director. And the guy that directed Legends was neither of them. Um, so, yeah. Overall, I'm pretty interested in Legends ZA. Um, not super excited. I'm... I'm of the group that thinks it's a good idea that they're taking more time. I would have liked them to do, like, a new spin-off or something to fill the holiday season, right? Like, a new mystery dungeon. The last mystery dungeon remake sold, like, two million copies. Why do we not have another one of those yet? Um, why haven't you tried to bring back Pokemon Ranger or something, right? Um, but yeah, Legend ZA seems neat. Um, I'm interested to get more actual info, because they didn't really show a lot, which makes me seem it's going to be a late or a later 2025 title and not January, like Arceus was, because they actually had a trailer for Legends Arceus on Pokemon Day a few years ago. So, 
yeah, those are just my thoughts. This video's probably been all over the place. My videos usually are. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see more. I'll definitely give it a play because I did like Legends Arceus well enough. Uh, I'm just hoping they don't immediately fall into sticking with the formula Legends made, right? I'm hoping they're a little bit more creative with this game like they were with Legends. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.